Hello everyone, welcome into Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah Presents. Me, Deborah, with the vloggy thing. You have made it to the Saturday vloggy thing. Thank you for coming by. Welcome. If this is your first time here, stick around. It could be some fun. If you've been here before, thanks for coming back. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I really appreciate it. I have a list today, okay, because I will forget things. People who've been here for a while know this, which is why I carry this very badly penmanship list. This is vloggy number 26, by the way. Officially half a year done of me doing the vloggy thing and not that much longer than that that I've been crocheting. Okay, yeah, girl's crazy, all right? Now, starting off with some life in uh, crochet life and stuff today. Got some overtime. <laughs> yes, for me, that's a good thing. Um, I am someone who has basically lived off overtime for years because for me, overtime means time and a half, anything over 40 hours. And this week, I've managed to accumulate just over 10 hours. Ka-ching, y'all. Ka-ching. That makes me happy. Okay. Yes. Also, in the life and yarn adjacent things here, I need to think of some yarn to use for Lisa Ladybird's cow that's coming up. The pick and mix cow. It's starting in October. She's given us plenty of lead time. So what am I doing? I'm looking at my yarn over there. I'm looking at my yarn over here and I'm like, I don't want to use any of that. Really? Really? So I'm going to have to think of something, you know, find some combination of colors that I kind of like together. I'm really excited about that. The link to that cow coming up to the announcement and everything and to Lisa Lady Birch channel will be down below. Always, any channel that you go to, um, check the description box. You never know what you're going to find. Sometimes there are surprises in there. Yeah. Also, there's another cow coming up. The cows are coming, y'all. Uh, Stephanie's Yarn Escape. That's where I got that cool purple bag, which I'll be talking about in a minute again from. Um, she's got a cow coming up. She has just released a pattern, and she's going to have a cow with that pattern with a prize. So, yeah, link to that down below, too. Fun channel. Love Stephanie. She, I don't know how she has time to do everything that she does. I'm just saying. Okay, cows. Oh my gosh, and there's still a bunch that are going on. I have finally stopped making things for the bottle on because I was I was getting a little obsessed with must make all the bottle on things. I got enough. I think I got five entries. I'm good. I have a, a small chance of winning a prize. But it was fun and I challenged myself. Now, acquisitions. Because there are a few. First, I don't want to forget this one. This is something that the hubby got for me. Yes, it's another pin with the dammit back. And yes, the people in the military call these dammits because you take it off and you lose it and you say, damn it. Okay. This though, oh, focus, doggone it. Well, it's not going to focus. That is Dorothy's Bornack and it says, Dorothy's Bornack is my spirit animal. If you don't know who Dorothy's Mornak is, that means you've never seen the Golden Girls. Have you been under a rock? I mean, maybe you're just too young to have seen the Golden Girls. Okay, it did come out in the 80s. I watched it later on with my grandmother. And, uh, yeah, I would tell her, Shady Pines, Graham, Shady Pines, because I am Dorothy. Yeah. So, also, another acquisition, and uh, thank you to the hubby for that. Another acquisition, I think I mentioned a few weeks ago that I had ordered some more hooks from Wish.com because your girl is cheap, okay? And I wanted to try out, I had one ergonomic hook that I had gotten from Wish just as a, here's a hook, try it out. Um, it was like a random size. But I got this, y'all. This whole kit including shipping was like six bucks the biggest one i don't even know this is not the biggest one hello this is the biggest one is an n it's a 10 millimeter nice grippy hook they seem pretty smooth i haven't crocheted with them yet but i've, I've felt of some of them to feel for little bumps and nubs which sometimes you'll find on the el cheapos you got to take a little you know emery board to it or something all the way from 10 millimeters big down to 
a nearly microscopic two millimeters, a B. Yeah. At any rate, there's a bunch of them. They're all different colors. Um, some of them are marked in black like this, and I don't know how well that's going to last, but we'll see. Some of them are like, like it's engraved into the, the squishy bits. So we'll see. I, I don't know. They probably all came from different places. Yeah, like this one, helpfully actually, you can feel where it's engraved in there. It's a 5.5 millimeter which I think is an I. It doesn't say I on it though. It just says 5.5 millimeter. So it's a mix and match. All of them have the millimeters on them. Not all of them have the letter designations or whatever on them. And since I've always learned just by the millimeters, eh, it's all good for me. So yeah, I'm looking forward to trying these out. I have waited. I got this in the mail. Hubby brings the mail in while I'm working. So I put down what I was doing and I, well, what is this? Because you never know what it's going to be. This apparently had been sitting in Chicago for a few weeks, and that's how it got mailed. Got mailed from the Chicago area after it gets shipped in from China, which is how they do it, which is how they keep the shipping so cheap. That's why it takes a while. You just deal. But anyway, hooks. Have another couple of interesting acquisitions from Dollar General and Dollar Tree. Did I show you all these already? I don't think I did. Yes. They are kid bracelets. No, I'm not a kid. No, there is no way on this earth that they will fit over my hand. Okay. But Sarah Satch had uh, some cute tutorials using these sort of things without the charms. Although I think you could probably add the charms to it if you wanted to. I got no use for Minnie Mouse or LOL, Surprise, whatever that is. Not up on the latest kid things. Just saying. Um, but to make magnets for your refrigerator or ornaments you crochet around it you put a back on it you print your picture and stick it in there they're super cute um i also picked up some dowels because there is a stitch marker holder that i have seen that i have forgotten who made it and i have to go back and look at my saved videos but i know it involved hooking it to a dowel to hang it up uh, also picked up some Crafter's Closet Tape Runner, double-sided tape, because I might want to try to play with some cards. Also picked up, haven't used this con in a while, and it's been years, actually, Lever 2000, and I see somebody approaching my door. Pausing. Yes, there was a pause. I'm back. My mail delivery person just brought two packages. They're both for me. Don't know what they are. But I'm not going to open them now. I think I'll do a Happy Mail video in a bit because this video is going to get really long. Okay. Back to the acquisitions. I did buy some more note cards. I occasionally do send out notes to folks uh, who I have the addresses for. Um, I usually buy them blank. I occasionally get a thank you one, but then I'll write more stuff in it. If you can read my handwriting, I know it's bad. I try. And... <laughs> I've already taken a pen out. I took a pen out of this this morning, the purple one. Uh, some ink joy pens, because despite the mass quantity of pens that I know I own, I can never find them. I think Oscar, my cat, hides them. That has got to be it. Because I know that I had at least three pens next to my chair in the living room. Couldn't find them. I was like, are you kidding me? Because I have to scribble down my notes with something. So I've got the purple gel pen on there because yeah i do love purple okay acquisitions sorted no no yarny purchases but hooks hey that's yarn adjacent right i don't know what the heck this was all about i talk with my hands i had a boss that used to call it my interpretive dance yeah um whips whips have not touched that tank toppy thing from last week so we're not even going to talk about that one in detail the hubby blanket now there's progress there's not much progress but there's progress okay oh where'd it go here's where i was last week you can see one row complete and i'm half a row done past that so i've done a row and a half on the hubby blanket but Considering it's still summertime and I'm still over this hot weather, 
it's better than nothing. I might work on it some today. I might not. <laughs> that is, that's Whitville right there. Um, finished objects though. Wow. I forgot to grab the mass quantity of them. Stand by. As I move back, you will see a bag behind me because I finally have woven in ends and put buttons on a bunch of the towels that I did. Towel toppers, not actual towels because I haven't made that many of those. So there are a bunch and I still have a metric buttload of towels to put more toppers on. I do. I'm kind of obsessed with doing it. It's fun. I'll get on a roll doing it and then do a bunch of them all at once, just finishing them up later. So, <sighs> there's that. And some of these will get donated along with washcloths, and I'll tell you about that later, but not with the washcloths, a different month. Some of these are really simple, just white with white buttons. I used the buttons I could find on the cheap that my yarn needle would fit through. That was the caveat that I had for that. These big ones, I actually get them from Walmart. You can get them in all white, you can get them in white and black mixed, you can get them in multicolor mixed in the packages and they're not expensive at all. Isn't that cute? I think that's cute for Easter. Yeah, it's been done for a while, just hadn't had any ends woven in. This one here, Happiness, it's homemade, a little green top to match or bluish green. A bunch with yellow because I had a really big skein of this yellow, big twist. Yeah, the way it's been sitting in there, it's kind of folded funny, but yeah, hello spring. It's obviously not spring anymore. Drop my lemon towel, oh no. When life gives you lemons, make something sweet. Now these um, were inspired by Pamela's Adoring Crochet. I did not follow the tutorial because since when do I follow directions? But um, I kind of, you know, I wing it as I go, kind of inspired by hers, but I do my own thing. The way that I attach my yarn at the top to the towel is different. I sort of stitch it on, just wrapping it around the top. And then I crochet into that instead of trying to stick a hook through or using an awl or anything like that. Um, but just several different ones. I got one with a boat and some gray here. But yeah, there are a bag full of those. Finished objects, y'all. And there are more that I have dumped on the floor that are not those. Pardon me. And I'm back. It's almost like magic, right? Uh, playing around with stitches for washcloths. As you may or may not know, Rose Likes Crochet is doing um, collections for wings. It's a domestic violence organization uh, to help folks who are victims of domestic violence, get them out, get them taken care of, get them sorted in the Chicagoland area. And all year long, and probably next year too, and it was last year, every month has a different theme. The theme in October is going to be washcloths. So she kind of sent out things to a lot of the different podcasters like, hey, can you let people know about this and maybe send some washcloths? And she actually even sent out yarn to some of them. Um, I've been making them ever since because it's fun and it's a good way to try out stitches. No pattern on any of these, of course, because that's how I roll. Just a round one. And these are all done with yarn from... Dollar Tree, it is the Just Cotton, which is an 8515 cotton polyester blend. It's very absorbent. I've made washcloths out of it for myself. It's great. Another round one is sort of an opposite color combination with some puffs in there. The uh, black and taupe, or black, duh, the brown and taupe with the uh, puffs in there. So it's got a little texture to it, but it's still nice and soft. Another one, opposite done with a different center. And this one I was fiddling with last night. It's just a bunch of different stitches and some cross stitches, multicolor, trying to use up, finally used up the brown. Yes. So finished objects. Isn't that something? I actually had something that I did and finished this week. Okay. And, oh, and Rose Like Crochet's link, by the way, will be down below as always, because I love what she does. She is such a giving person 
and she puts videos up of all the stuff she's getting to take down to wings. It's so much fun to watch all of these items that people have taken their time and their energy to send in uh, because this is a generous community. I love it. Now, switching gears a little bit, let's go to shout outs. I want to shout out one Yarny channel this week. Her link will be below. Her name is Kate. Her channel name is Bitchin' Stitches. Uh, come for the crochet, stay for the attitude. She is so much fun. She has been doing uh, tutorials involving wrist gymnastics. Make sure you go check out for that. Sometimes you go outside. She does yarn reviews that are in depth and you, you know, you see how she does all the things, leaves it stitched up for a while and then frogs it. You can kind of see what it looks like afterwards. And yeah, she's a lot of fun and yeah, the attitude. Absolutely. Love to have a coffee with her or, you know, whatever beverage of choice. Okay. So yeah. Oh, and recently she was outside. There's a world out there. And she was out in it. I avoid it, but hey, brave woman, all right? I do have a, a non-yarny shout out as well. My non-yarny shout out today is food related because look at me. I obviously like food, okay? Marion's Kitchen. Now you may recognize the name Marion's Kitchen because she actually has a line of sauces and stuff out. And it's an Asian thing. She is part Thai. Was she like half Thai and half Australian? And yeah, she, she's based in Australia. Makes a lot of yummy, delicious looking food. Walks you right through it step by step. And yeah, you want to eat all the things. I know I want to eat all the things. But fun. Check her out. I'll have her link down below as well. Now, last but certainly not least... My video last week, my vloggy video, if you haven't seen it already, you may want to check it out because I had a mystery in there. The mystery continues this week. There is that bag of uh, yarn bands, ball bands, okay? And I showed it and turned it around and side to side. I still have not counted them. They are still just sitting there. I'm not adding any more to it. But you should go to that video, watch it, and leave a guess. There will probably be a little prize if somebody guesses correctly. So do that. I may count them next week and see what we've got because I have no idea how many are in there. And giving stuff away can be fun. You know, I'm just saying. But that's the mystery. It's going on this week. Check it out. One guess per person, please. That's all I ask. If you want to go in and edit, edit it. It's okay. Won't count until I, you know, look through and pull and all that good stuff. Thank you for making it to this far in the video. Uh, if you haven't already, could you hit that like button for me? The YouTube gods like that. Um, hit subscribe if you are willing to come back again. And uh, you can always buy me a coffee or a ball of yarn in my Kofi link down below as well. Also, there is a fledgling Facebook group. I really need to focus a little more on that, but I just, you know, haven't done it. It'd be really awesome if y'all could join me there and help me out. Share your things, things you're making, share pictures. You make videos, share that too. I would love to see it and hear it and watch it. Thanks for coming by. Stop by Tuesday for a continuation of Snacks Around the World. Yum! There's going to be another flip through this coming week of another magazine. And apparently, I've got Happy Mail. That'll be coming up in a separate video. <laughs> Thanks, y'all. See you soon.